everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Bills going up against the 49ers. So the time has come. Let's send you out to the stadium and join the two men that will have the Super Bowl call. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at University of Phoenix Stadium here in Glendale. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here between the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left is my good friend Charles Davis, and what a thrill to be here for the biggest one of them all, the Super Bowl. And it seems to get bigger every year. The lights get brighter. The cameras more numerous. I don't know. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's an honor to be here, isn't it? It is an honor, and I can't wait to share this game with you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. You're my partner, my best friend. I can't imagine being anywhere else but right here with you. And just think about it this way. You mentioned the magnitude. This is no longer just a game for America or even North America. This is worldwide. People watching from just about every country in the world. This is impressive. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and just about ready to roll. All the talk, all the hype, but the past is prologue as this Super Bowl is underway. This is taken at the three. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. Complete to open things up. And a look at the offense that is hoping to put some points up in bunches here in this one. Ten yards still left on second down. Now they'll run on the draw, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are you going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Got three. Hey, 
They'll give it to him right up the gut. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Man, it wasn't that long ago that the guy playing that spot was an outside linebacker type of a guy. Now, as a defensive end, how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play? They'll give it to him right up the gut. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. And now a peek at the starters on the defensive side. it away and that brings up fourth down sometimes the coverage is so good no matter what you're doing on offense you just can't shake anyone free they try their best to find someone open but they took away every passing alley every angle and shut the play down and a little too much mustard on that one it hits a couple yards into the end zone a missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back so here's the first drive now for the 49ers and leading him out their veteran quarterback Two receivers left, one to the right. They go play action here on first down. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Now a handoff looking right, and he is going to lose yardage here. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. One thing that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming on a blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. Five yards to gain here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, the great coaches said football's a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. And the 49ers defense gets ready here as they trot back out there. And as we're going to see right here, they have been laying some pretty electrifying hits in this one. And these are for real. Okay, as you watch, think about putting yourself in that spot, about being the ball carrier or the receiver. I don't want to. And then taking that shot, it is something else. It's not like when we were watching that, that video clip where they showed you how they make sounds for movies. <laughs> this is for real. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. They'll drop the throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. 
Quick pass play there on the slant. Charles works out well for the offense. The offense loves it. The defender hates it. Hard to get through the body of the receiver to get to the football trying to cover a slant. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll come out in the pistol. And they'll go on the ground. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Fresh set of downs here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. And now here's a carry heading left. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves right, kick-started. Out of the gun now on third down. Under pressure, he's going to go down. Look at this, way back around the 43. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. The Bills send the punter out. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. The Bills now making their way back out onto the field. They have a little something to build off of from last time with a three and out. And what they have to build off of? Great confidence right now. Being able to stuff someone on a three and out. You feel like you're in control now. You're doing the dictating. They want to see if that can continue as this game progresses. Will it continue? We'll see. Now they try the right side here. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And that run... That changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to punt the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Call it a loss of five. A big sack to bring up third down. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Big sack on second down. Now the offense needs to convert here on third. They come out here in the eye. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going
going back and telling his offensive line. Great job. They're going to try and throw. And he will find his man on the outside. 13 yards on the pickup. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. We heard them talk before the game about utilizing the intermediate passing game this week. It works for them there. They move the chains. And we saw them work on it in practice as well. And most teams take a period at a time to work on different things. They put a couple of periods of work into the intermediate passing game. And now we know exactly why. They got the look that they were seeking, and they were able to take advantage of it. So here we go, first and 10 now. Here we go. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And here's a look at the starting offense. Give it here to his running back. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Seven yards remaining here on third down. the shotgun he'll look to throw and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact incomplete timing's crucial in any route thrown but when you throw an out so many things are going through the mind of the receiver catching the ball timing it up with the quarterback are my feet going to get down in bounds on that play all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Call it a gain of 13 yards on the play. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And that linebacker group today could be very key. As we were preparing for this game, you pointed out to me as we were watching film that the linebackers look like an elite unit. I agree with you totally. They move around, fly to the football, and take it away from offenses. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. One receiver left, two to the right. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But an alert 49er able to gain possession, so they will indeed hold on to the pigskin. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. He'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in. But it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. So that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football. 
able to get it back himself. Yeah, bounced right back on it, keeps possession. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taken in at the 22. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now out come the Bills. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. Back to throw here. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So one quarter down here in the Super Bowl. Nothing, nothing, our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. But they face a second and long to start things out. Again, we'll see the pistol here. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Naturally, we're going to say it was a poor pass, but the defensive guys say it was just a great play by them. They broke on the football, picked it off, and gave some momentum to their team. San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't turn it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we're gonna go out there and stop people. So yeah, there's always something bots to be gained from it. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he's able to get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. 
They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. They'll set up a throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll come out in the pistol. And now here's a carry heading left. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, there's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get three up to midfield. A couple of Bills team up to bring him down there. And many use the running game like boxers do. Body blow after body blow after body blow. You may not get what you want early, but those add up, and by the fourth quarter, you could break a big one. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the sign judge. And that's good enough for a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got time in the pocket. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They're going to look to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. We can talk all we want about football being a game of 
strengthen Braun. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. So completion on second down, that brings up third. Looking to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Another pistol look here. Here's the option going right. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Now it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. From the right hash, this from 53. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So after slogging through a scoreless first quarter, we have action on the scoreboard. A field goal makes it 3-0. Well, with these two offenses, we weren't going to stay 0-0 forever, were we? I'm not sure that this opens the floodgates, but I doubt that's the last scoring we're going to see. This fielded at the 2. <laughs> And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. There the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keep your defense off the field. It gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. I like when you're organized with your points. Well done. A, B, and C. That was a nice play by the defense, but the offense can't let that one play define them. Let it go, move on, and start over again. Here we go! One, nine, They'll run it now, out of the gun. <laughs> a nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. All right, it's football 101 to know that the quarterback controls just about everything on offense, but a lot of times what gets missed is that the center controls line play. He has to communicate to the guards and the tackles what type of front they're facing, how they're going to block it, and what adjustments need to be made sometimes on the fly as a defense will shift. 
give the center a lot of credit because for the most part, he's got big defensive linemen over his face all game long. That he's got to try and block and protect his quarterback and create space for his runner. In this case, he did a really nice job of communicating and executing. They'll get 19 yards there, and it'll be a San Francisco first down. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line of scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think run. In this case, the offense was able to run successfully. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's not always as trade as that team wanted it more than the other, but on that play, it actually was true. They were faster to the ball. switch it up here and look to throw it's a short one here complete to the tight end the reception good for seven it's third down the completion was given up but that's why you play zone defense so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch and they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. A reminder coming up at the intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Now he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. Well, Brandon, sometimes I think when we watch games, we're actually watching a living museum because we're seeing the evolution of positions almost with each passing game. How about defensive ends nowadays and the way that they can run almost all the way across the field? It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're so strong, but they're so lean, they can move so quick with those bodies. It's almost unfair. You're supposed to be able to know where a defensive end is supposed to be on every play. These guys flash so quickly, you're not sure where they're going to end up. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The 49er defense now heading back out there. And even though that last drive yielded points, it was a long field goal, so they probably weren't too upset about it. Although here, obviously, they'd like to give up zero. Of course, that's the goal each and every time out, but when, when they make that type of a field goal that long, you almost give them a little nod of respect to the kicker, like congratulations, but you do feel pretty good about not giving up anything big. Yeah, and we'll see if they can not give up anything big on this drive. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Back to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, that's the type of pass play that you need to wait for routes to develop. You need a little time in the pocket, but that's hard to do when you got people in your face. Right. 
He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And the defense will try and pin their ears back and get pressure again here after the sack. It's third down. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And that will come the offense as they take over. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And now they're in the hurry up. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And on the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Back to throw again. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Now back to throw. And this one is incomplete. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you on down to our studios in Orlando, where standing by is Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The 49ers offense has been on the field more, but it hasn't led to a big lead. The Bills are competing hard, and it's still very much in doubt which side will walk away with the Lombardi Trophy. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Midway through the first, the catch is made after a quick pass, and he'll end up picking up 13 yards on the play. <laughs> 49ers still on the field to once again sack the QB. This goes for a loss of 14. Final moments of the first half. They're going to get to the QB once again. This will go for a loss of eight. And with that, it's time to head back to field 